Hi everyone, it's Tower here from TD Aesthetics again with another video about dermal fillers because I figured you just didn't have enough information last time. So yesterday I spoke to you about the differences in consistency between fillers for different indications, different parts of the face and different treatments. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, what you should be looking out for from your aesthetic practitioner when you're seeking out dermal filler treatment. So there's four main things that I think are really important for you to be asking questions about or making sure that your aesthetic practitioner has suitable answers for you. Um, so the first is about the practitioner's skill and knowledge. So they really need to know their facial anatomy when they're try when they're going to be injecting dermal filler into someone's face. They need to know where the main blood vessels are, where the branches are, how far or how superficial or how deep they are beneath the skin. So they know which are the danger areas and the red flags to avoid. They also need to know the depth of injection. So for firmer fillers, like the ones that I demonstrated in a previous video that are quite thick and firm and really need to give your face support and structure, you need to be injecting those quite deep to almost mimic bone in the structure of the face. For the lighter, more superficial fillers, there's no sense in injecting them deep because they don't have the structure. So you need to inject them quite superficially to perhaps provide more moisture or more hydration for the skin, or just to target those very fine superficial lines and wrinkles. So also when to use a needle or when to use a cannula. There are pros and cons for both, and your aesthetic practitioner should be able to talk you through the main risk factors for each and how they would mitigate those risk factors. So the second thing that you really need to be delving into with your aesthetic practitioner is their experience and their background. So not just their training or even their ongoing commitment to education to make sure that they're always updating their skills when it comes to injections, but also their background. Do they have a medical background? If they don't, how do they make sure that they are operating and treating you in a safe manner? So you need to be asking them questions about what they would do if this happened. How will they manage this? Which brings us nicely to the third point that I think you should always ask about when you speak to an aesthetic practitioner about dermal filler treatment. And this is emergency planning. Now, dermal filler treatment is an elective treatment, which means you choose to have it done. It's not something that has to be done to save your life. But while you're having dermal filler treatment, you should always know how, if an emergency were to arise, your aesthetic practitioner would be able to manage it. So do they know what the main risks are? Can they deal with, for example, an occlusion, a blockage of a blood vessel that could happen inadvertently during treatment? Do they know what medications to use? Can they access these medications, a lot of which are on prescription only? Do they know how to recognise the signs of an occlusion or even the signs of a latent skin infection? And what would they do if that were to happen? So it's about mitigation of risk and making sure that you as a patient or client or whatever you're called is you're being treated in as safe a manner as possible. And finally, last but really not least, does the aesthetic practitioner take a, holist a holistic approach when they're looking at your face? They shouldn't just be chasing lines and wrinkles and treating them in isolation because your face isn't just made up of individual lines and wrinkles. As a whole face approach, you're much more likely to get natural and quite good and sustainable results that you would be happy to walk out with of that clinic once you've had your treatment. So if you're looking for more natural, refined results, you really need to look at treating the whole face in conjunction and not just a line here or a line there, because the whole face works together holistically. So treatment needs to work holistically. I hope that this has given you a few more things to think about before you decide to go ahead and have dermal filler treatment, whether that be with me or with any of my aesthetic practitioner colleagues, nurses, doctors, whoever. But always ask these questions. Always make sure you get satisfactory answers. And if you don't, seek out another practitioner. Your face is your fortune and you only have the one face. So treat it wisely. Good luck with it and take care. Bye bye.